Hey guys, what's up? Uh, it's been a little while since we did a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So, first and foremost, I have actually stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for a little bit of time, just due to the sole fact that I, you know, I got a new laptop, I haven't downloaded Wago Pro on it or anything like that. And, uh, the other reason is, I'm not in college right now, so I don't have anyone to play against. Um, but yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh... Watching uh, Dave and Ader's little video where he talks about the top 10 best cards in each set, I decided I'd look through some of my tins to see what all old cards, because I played back when the game came out, and I have a lot of Magic Ruler, Starter Deck, and all that nice stuff. And I found one, and this is just my opinion, because he's talking about confiscation, which lets you look at your opponent's hand. And... Yeah, that's really good. We, you know, if you can look at your opponent's hand, it's really good to know what's in there. So you know, okay, he's got two Ash Blossoms and a Ghost Ogre. He's able to counter anything I've got. But I have one better. Now, if you're a Spiral player, you probably didn't know about this card, or else you would love it. You know, it, this is just abusable as shit in Spiral. I'm going to pull it up on screen here. And it is... As you guys can see right there in the corner of our screen. Ancient Telescope. Move that over there. As you guys can see. And it's from Starter Deck Kaiba. See the top five cards of your opponent's deck. Return the cards to the deck in the same order. Do not shuffle. What this means is if you're playing a deck that wants you to call out what your opponent's got. Or if you're just planning to counter your opponent... In any way, shape, or form, you know, you want to know, okay, somehow you know your opponent doesn't have Ghost Ogre or anything like that in their deck, in their hand. But you want to make sure they don't have it so you know if you can wait a turn to go for the kill. You want to be able to set up stuff to counter whatever's coming. This lets you see the next five turns unless your opponent digs into their deck and starts messing with it. Of course, that's a possibility. I mean, people run triple terraforming. They run, uh, in my deck, I run, in my Odd Eyes alone, triple terraforming, um, the Odd Eyes cards that let me search through my deck, uh, Sky Iris, um, um, Spiral Flame Strike, and uh, I can't think of the name of the other card. Let's me get a Pendulum, Pendulum Monster. Anyways, yeah, I mean, if, you're, if, if your opponent's going to be digging through their deck and shuffling, that's bad for you, but still, this is a decent option if you're trying to set up. You know, if you're running a spiral and you're going first, you activate this, you're like, okay, now I know, top card's a monster card. Call monster, go. Or, no matter what it is, it lets you know what's coming. So back to the first player scenario. You're going first. You've got everything set up. you got everything ready to go. You're happy. You're like, okay, this is great. I'm set up. I'm ready to go. It, this is going to work. This is going to work. I got this. I got this. You flip Ancient Telescope. You're like, okay, I know the next monster he summons is going to dig. The next card he draws is going to be a Storming Mirror Force. So now I know, okay, I need to be prepared for that. I need to be prepared for ancient, I need to be prepared for it. I need to have back row removal, etc. You know, you got all these options that this card gives you. It lets you peek at your opponent's deck, which is nice. Now, I love it because I have several copies of it, and I've been splashing it into different decks to test out later down the line. So if you guys... Pretty much, I, I recommend this card. It, it gives you a certain amount of viability. It gives you a certain ability that is always nice to look at your opponent's deck. Anyways, uh, so as I said, this was just a really short video for you guys to kind of get a taste of us getting back to Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And all that nice stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh... And, of course, we are returning to normal content. This is going to go up tomorrow because it's a really short little video. We're going to be returning to normal content. Probably not Yu-Gi-Oh! content. We're probably going to stick to the original plan of Fallout and vlogs for a while. But, yeah. 
I wanted to make this little video. Inspiration strikes, guys. Remember that. Thank you. If you guys want to, you know, support me in a more personal way, Patreon link is always down in the description. We just closed out our t-shirt sales. We made five bucks. Not much, but hey, I'll make it work. So if you guys want to support the channel, head on over to Patreon and support the channel that way because we are not monetized. Also, tell your friends about the channel. Tell them we always try to produce content no matter what you like. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like. And comment down below. What do you guys think of Ancient Telescope? Do you, do you like the idea of the premise? Do you... Are you going to run it in all your decks now or what? Let me know.